Whoa, how are you feeling after that? Wow, wow, wow. That's all I can say. If only I'd have been well enough to be there myself. Um, I am feeling a lot better today, but I did manage to get to see the game on a live stream. And boy, am I glad I got to see it. I thought Wolves, I thought it was a Nuno tactical master plan. Nuno, as they sang throughout the game, he's definitely the special one. He got it absolutely bang on with his tactics, how he introduced the uh, substitutions and how Wolves played and went forward. Obviously, apologies that I sound a little bit bugged up, but hey, let's get on to the game. Um, obviously, Tottenham had came off two fantastic results. They'd won something like seven games in a row. They'd scored uh, a 6-2 victory and a 5-0 victory in their last two games. Absolutely hammering teams. And it was always going to be a difficult ask for Wolves with a very confident Tottenham side. And they had lots of possession in the first half. Wolves wasn't quite able to make it stick. I did think that Traore had his best game in a Wolves shirt. Jimenez was magnificent throughout. Dead Donka came into the side, which was probably the surprise, but he did quite well. After about four minutes, he got a knee knock and I thought oh, he was going to have to go off, but he never quite looked fully up to speed with the game, but he did well uh, until he was replaced by Joe Matinho in the second half. Uh, Patricio pulled out one particularly good save from Ericsson, which was tipped over. Um, Wolves, I think it was something like 70%, 30% possession against Tottenham in the first half. But they really didn't hurt us that much, apart from uh, an absolutely wonderful goal from um, from Harry Kane, who's had an interesting day, um, getting an MBE, getting a, a defeat and also a yellow card. I think you'll probably appreciate the MBE, MBE a lot better than the uh, the other two. But he did get a fantastic goal and he is a quality striker. Um, so that meant that Wolves went in uh, trailing one goal to nil at half-time. But I did feel at that point that we were, we could get something out of the game. I didn't quite expect that we were going to get as much out of the game as what we ended up getting out of the game. But um, going into the second half, Wolves started to get stronger and stronger as the, uh, as the game wore on. I thought our shape was fantastic. We were a lot more controlled on the ball. We kept possession better. We had more of the ball. And gradually, we we got more and more into the game. I was a bit disappointed with a lot of the corners that we had. We did create corners that were going long and we didn't really create anything. Uh, but then he brought on Matinho uh, for Dead Donker and he just seemed to make the difference when he came on uh, to the pitch. He, you know, he's a quality player, let's face it. And the first corner that he he took and delivered, Bolly's on the end of it to put it into the net. The keeper got a hand on it, but it's gone in. And then it's 1-1. One, one. And just before that goal, Wolves had a really strong three or four minute passage of play where we were literally panning Tottenham back um, and looking getting, like we were getting stronger and stronger. Then we got the goal. And from that point on, it's like Tottenham were desperately trying to win the game. But Wolves were composed on the ball all the time, looking to pick them off. And uh, the second goal, which is well taken from Jimenez, Cavalero sets him up. Jimenez swings his right boot. It's not the uh, the strongest of contacts. It goes through the uh, defender's legs. The keeper's wrong footed and it sort of, I wouldn't say trickle, but it just rolls over the line. And for about a second or two, I was like, has that actually gone in? And then when you realise it has gone in, it's fantastic, isn't it? I mean, you, you know, but Jimenez, again, has been wonderful throughout the game. At that point on, um, he's also brought Morgan Gibbs-White and um, Costa on. And um, Tottenham, had, again, moving forward. And Doherty, who was, and the wing-backs who have been pinned back in the first half, have been a lot more up the pitch second half. And I think it's Doherty that sends Costa clean through. And it's Costa who's been in these situations so many times this year and not managed to finish, well, this time he did. And that's going to do him the world of good, no doubt about it. He puts it in the back of the net and it's 3-1 to Wolves and it's absolute bedlam in the stadium. I can imagine being in there, um, bouncing around and, you know, another fantastic away day for Wolves. If only I was well enough to have gone, that would have been absolutely brilliant to have been there. However, 
I am a lot better than I was yesterday and I did get to see the live stream and I've absolutely loved watching it on the uh, the live stream and what a day to be a Wolves fan. I think we're up to seventh again now. Uh, for me, my man of the match has got to be Jimenez for his all-round play, defensive duties, holding the ball up, bringing people into play and his goal. Um, so how are you feeling, Wolves fans, about this victory away at Tottenham? A lot of you, a lot of us probably... You know, wouldn't have expected, but I did say my pre-match, it could be any score this one. We could get tanked and it wouldn't surprise me. Wolves went and did them and guess what? We got and done them again. And also, just as a matter of fact, we've beaten Spurs 6-5 on aggregate over the two games as well. How good's that? Um, pretty damn good, to be fair. And um, yeah, what a year it's been. What a year it's been. Seventh in the Premier League. We've just beaten Tottenham away at Wembley. 3-1. <laughs> Boob. Happy New Year, everyone!